Antonio Treza partners 26 with Miller. Number two, Gambler's Dream. Luke will end up for Dave Scharf and Jeff Snyder. Number three is El Diablo, owned by Plumatello, Ferrari, and Menino with Jack Moiseev. Number four, Royal Art, owned by the Brittany Farms, Myron Bell, and Daisy Akers with Ron Pierce. Number five is Better's Delight, the two-year-old champion from last season. He's owned by John Grant with Mike Lachance. Number six, Jugular, all by De Elegant Stables 9, and Adam Victor, George Brennan. Number seven, the FS Stars Stables, four-star shark, Jim Morrill, Jr. And number eight, Leon and Sarah Rutkowski's President Lee, John Campbell, is in the sulky. No changes for race three, exacta, and trifecta betting six minutes till post. It's rolling. It's post time for tonight's third race, the final New Jersey Classic Elimination. Top three finishers will make the half million dollar classic next Saturday. Here they come. And they're off, and Better's Delight from Mid Pack gets the first call toward the inside. Gambler's Dream away well. Card Street Partners protects the rail. These three aggressive early, and it's Card Street Partners driving on to the point. Royal Art has come out in fourth. El Diablo on the inside is fifth. Jugular has wrestled back sixth on the inside. Four Star Shark comes away seventh, and President Lee is the trailer. They head toward the quarter, and Lachance hustles Better's Delight onto the front, and he clears comfortably in 27 and 1. Racing in second is Card Street Partners. In behind him is Gambler's Dream third. Content to follow along is Royal Arden fourth. Al Diablo gaps slightly from fifth position. Then it's Jugular. Four Star Shark is seventh. Tipping to the outside, trying to get some cover flow established. And President Lee follows him for the back of the pack. Nobody anxious to come first up on Better's Delight. And Better's Delight is just strolling along right now. A length and a half clear of Card Street Partners, who is very content with that pocket trip. The half and 56 and one. A 29 second second quarter breather. Gambler's Dream is racing in 30s. Glued to the pylon so far. Royal Art starts up first up and he flushes Gambler's Dream so Luke will take a shot at Better's Delight and Gambler's Dream is up into second just off the leader's wheel as they pace to the three quarter marker. It's Better's Delight on the front end with Gambler's Dream applying some moderate pressure. Card Street Partners drafts in the pocket third three quarters in 124 and two. Royal Art is fourth four star sharp tips to the outside but he's six lengths for the lead of Better's Delight but up on the outside Gambler's Gambler's Dream is taking it to him, and Better's Delight is put to the test, and Gambler's Dream surges past. It's Gambler's Dream who's taken a short lead, and Better's Delight trying to fight back to him. Gambler's Dream and Better's Delight. Gambler's Dream does it. Better's Delight was second, and Card Street Partners third and one fifty-one flat. Results have now been posted official, and returning to the winner's circle, number two, Gambler's Dream. Three-year-old Cam's card shark Colt out of gambling debt by In the Pocket. All by David Scharf and Jeff Snyder of New York, New York. The trainer is Monty Gelride and Luke Wallet is in the sulky. Gambler's Dream, a first over winner here in 151 flat. The last quarter in 26 and 3, so Cam's card shark sires two of the three elimination winners. Number two, Gambler's Dream, 1080. Three even, 210. Number five, Better's Delight was second, 220 and 210. And third, number one, Card Street Partners, 210. Exact to two and five, 2560. A Cam's Card Shark Sired Trifecta of 251 pays 10640. The upcoming fourth race kicks off the Classic Series tonight at the Meadowlands with the Philly and Mayor open pace. And in the fourth race, number eight, Fast Lane Cruisin', scratched sick. Fourth race, scratch the eight, fast lane cruising due to sickness. Exacta trifecta and superfecta wagering, 15 minutes until post time at 8.33. The seven, uh, Luke Ouellette won with Arturo, half million dollars, the biggest win of his career to that point. Now we have Gambler's Dream in position to possibly do it again. Coming into the race, 
Better's Delight was uh, the horse to beat. What was your strategy entering the race? Well, actually, you know, I thought that maybe I'd get away behind uh, Cart Street Partner and possibly get away third. And, uh, you know, I was going to be happy with that. Uh, it looked like from that point on, we probably had a chance to qualify. Okay, and then coming uh, past the half there, you got flushed out of the three hole, uh, a little bit near the five eighths, 26 and three last quarter. Yes, you know, I was very impressed with that Colt because, you know, um, I don't know, he just paced home 26 and three. I was really impressed with that tonight. He, did, he only raced twice, only six career starts. Does that work against him in the final? No, I don't think so. I think that he's a good sound horse. Uh, you know, he seems to mature every start he goes out there. Your impressions of who's your boy last race? Uh, I think he looked real well too. Okay, Luke Ouellette, Gambler's Dream, looking for his second Jersey Classic next week in the $500,000 final.